G'day. In today's video, I'm just doing a quick unboxing of the Gigabyte G5. Mine is the KC-5AU2130SH model. Basically, it's the lower end of the tier that they have. It's the i5 model, 16 gig of RAM, 500 gig SSD, assumably NVMe, and running a 3060. So we'll be doing some reviews on this down the line and seeing what else I can do with it as well. So we have a box in a box. Off to a good start. Here is our pretty box, G5. And then, as I mentioned, i5 1050H. Zoom you guys in. So yeah, i5 10, uh, 1050H, 16 gig of 3200 RAM, 512 gig SSD, black in color, RTX 3060P, 6 gig, not sure what the P stands for yet, and a 15.6 inch 240 hertz display. So let's get into it and see what we've got. One security seal, very loosely put on. me failing to unlock it. There we go. There's some goodies. Let's start with the boring. This will give us an idea of the power limit on the machine. We have a 180 watt power brick, fairly slim in size actually, and a similar charger port to what I normally see in like Acer laptops. So this does look rather generic, especially being the brand. I have seen this with essentially Metabox Tom Fang computers. What else do we have? It looks promising. Couple of M dot or M dot script two screw, 2.5 inch screw, so I'm assuming upgradable, and also one SD card. Let's get in there and see what we've got. So it feels rather chunky already in hand. This doesn't surprise me. So initially, display port. Full size SD, USB 3, on the back, Type C, HDMI, even Ethernet, power. I'm curious that these, well, these do look like one vent, but no vent over here. And the other side, headphone jack, microphone, USB 2, USB 3, Kensington lock. It does have a little bit of weight to it. Probably say it's about a couple of kilos. Opening it up, what do we see? What a neat looking keyboard. The keyboard itself doesn't look too bad. It does look replaceable as well, looking at that kind of thing. across the front, a couple of LED lights across the front down here, assumably power, charging, Wi-Fi, and maybe even Ethernet there. So, and the screen itself does look fairly standard, granted it's what it produces as opposed to how it looks. Bezels on it do look fairly normal for a screen this size, coming up with the current trends. We do also have a webcam up the top, assumably 720p. But so far, looking very nice. Now, another thing I probably should look at too before I end the video is what we're we looking like underneath for breathing. So 
So breathing, you can already see an M.2 over here. Got one leg here. I can see a fan over here. I can see a fan over here. See, one very small removable battery. So even though we got Gigabyte on here, I do believe that this is a rebadged or rebranded other machine. We've got G5, and I'm assuming that's a wireless card up here. An AX200 NGW. Now I'm going to take that battery out and we'll just quickly see what we got here. Wow, that is a baby. Pairing it with the charging brick. It's virtually the same size. Not a good unit of measurement. What are we? 48.96 watt hours. So it's actually, for the size of it, it is surprising. So we'll be curious to see how this goes in the real world. Considering mostly, most batteries I'm used to seeing nowadays are about double the length of what this one is. can we see not much else so that will do it for today and the unboxing of the gigabyte g5 laptop down the line I'll be doing a couple of benchmarks on it and I will also have a full review so stick around for that but for now see you later